It's the end of November, I've got a new haircut, I've got a Christmas tree, and I've got some new stuff to show you guys in this new blog video, so stay tuned. It's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again. Man, it has been a while since my last blog video. So it is getting close to the end of November of 2016, and after all the crazy stuff in the year, it's really nice just to sit back. I've got a nice Lionel-themed Christmas tree this year, as you can see. I've got a lot of nice little globy ornaments, and these little Hallmark ones here are really cool. So... Really, really, really nice. So today I really just wanted to take some time to do some catching up since I haven't posted a blog in so long and just talk to you guys about what's been going on over here, really. So, like I said, I haven't done a lot of videos recently as far as my blog series has gone, but I have done a whole lot of rail fanning videos this year. This year has really been pretty good in terms of rail fanning. I've seen N&W 611. I've seen... Uh, a little bit of the 4501 and the 630 at the museum. I've caught a few heritage units, some new tier 4 Jeevos. Just a few weeks ago I caught the Canadian Pacific Lord Strathcona's horse engine, which was really cool. I really like unexpected catches like that. The new SD70 ACUs are starting to roll out on NS, which is really, really nice. And I uh, also went to Lebanon, Tennessee to the layout up there at Fiddler's Grove, which Wow, I can't believe how popular that video has gotten in such a short amount of time. So I really appreciate you guys, the viewers and the subscribers, for giving that video the boost, including especially my 611 video. At this point, my video that I shot of NNW 611 in Asheville is over 6,000 views, which, wow, it is easily, hands down, my most popular video on YouTube. So. I only have you guys to thank for that, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for getting that video up there to such a high tier on my channel. That means the absolute world to me. Also, back in August, although I have not posted this video yet because I've been having a little bit of problems with Movie Maker, I also rode Amtrak for the first time from Gainesville to Birmingham, Alabama and back. And that was cool. That was my first time ever being on an Amtrak train, not my first time on the main line on a passenger train, but certainly my first time with Amtrak. So, And that's actually what I want to talk about real quick because I have these to show and I have a very special shout out that I want to give in this video. These are postcards that were sent to me by a very old and good friend of mine. These are postcards from the famed railroad artist Andy Fletcher. And a lot of you guys know Andy as being the guy who was sort of the catalyst for the Norfolk Southern Heritage Series. In fact, behind me on my wall, you can kind of see my poster of Andy's heritage locomotives, his drawings that he sent to Wick Mormon. So I posted about my Amtrak trip on Facebook and Andy knows that I like Amtrak a lot. It's one of my top favorite railroads. So he wrote me this very nice postcard and said, Hi Sterling, thank you for taking Amtrak to see America. It's great to hear that you are enjoying your first trip on Amtrak so much. And he sent these in the mail to me and I got them shortly after the trip. So I got two of these right here, which features all of the Amtrak Heritage Units, which is really, really cool. I really like the Amtrak Heritage Units a lot. And I also got a second one of those. And he also sent me this one with the Amtrak Veterans Locomotive, which was really, really nice of Andy. So, just wanted to give Andy a big shout out. I really appreciate you sending me those cards, man, and they absolutely mean the world to me. So, always nice to get little gifts like that. So, 
If you haven't seen Andy on Facebook, he's recently just started a new Facebook page called the Railway Post Office. So go on there and be sure to follow Andy on Facebook. He's a really, really good guy. Very sincere person, and you couldn't meet a nicer individual. So thanks so much, Andy. Also, something else that's happened in the most recent weeks is the Lionel SD60Es have been delivered at last. So I've got one of them here. I had two of these on order. This is the Norfolk Southern 6920 honoring our veterans locomotive. And I've also got the NS911 honoring first responders engine, but it's in the train room right now. And I did a couple of videos on these last week, so uh, yeah. These are really cool engines, and they were well worth the wait. And detail-wise, these things are spot on. I don't think Lionel could have done a better job if they tried. So, yeah, I've been waiting for these since October of last year, and here they are at last. So, it was really cool to finally get these engines for my collection. Also, something new that's come in are the Lionel Vision Line Santa Fe Reefers. Now, before anyone asks, no, I'm not doing an individual video on these cars, simply because there are already a heck of a lot better videos on YouTube out there of these cars and the Pacific Fruit Express variants as well, which are probably the more popular of the three of the sets. So, no, I am not going to do a review of these cars or a feature video like I tend to do with a lot of my equipment. But I will direct you to two places where you can see very good videos of these cars. The first one is a review from Eric Siegel, otherwise known on here as Eric's Trains. And you can go check out his video. I'll post the link in the description box. And also, go ahead and check out the video that my friend Matt Train Lover 9943 did. Because he did a very good video of these cars as well. And he got both sets. You can get your hands on these cars right now while they're still on the market. Get them. You need to, because when these things hit the aftermarket, the prices will skyrocket, and I'm not kidding. The last time Lionel did a set of sound cars for the Vision Line were the Lionel Ethanol tank cars. And just today, I found a set of them on eBay, and the person, no joke, wants $999.99, plus shipping. So, get them while you can. Get them while they're only $200 for the three pack. It's worth it. Two more things that I wanted to show you real quick are actually right here at the base of my Christmas tree. I'm using them right now for decorative purposes. The first is this post-war Lionel number 50 section gang car, which these were fairly common post-war items. There's nothing super rare or collectible about these, but I got this when I was in Lebanon and it was really cool and I just thought I would show it to you guys second thing is also nothing rare or super valuable, but it's right here. This is a post-war Lionel Alco FA, and I've actually featured this in a couple of my videos, but it's worth noting because this engine was really, really cool. Because I went into Legacy Station one day and found this on the used rack, and Brian actually, believe it or not, had a price tag of three American dollars for this thing. And I put it on the test track over there, and it works. It still runs. I mean, it roars like a can opener, but it still runs. And I just thought it was so great to pick up a nice post-war piece for three bucks. So that was definitely worth noting, and I just wanted to share that story with you guys, because I'm just tickled to this day that I got that thing for such a low price. So to sort of wrap this video up, I will be showing some stuff going on in the train room here very, very soon. But I'm going to wait till after the holidays to do that because there's a lot going on right now and I'm kind of having to throw this video together at the last minute just so I can get something done before work starts up again. Right now, we are covered over where I work for the Christmas season, so I'm not going to be able to do a lot of videos in the next coming weeks. And when I am at home, I'm probably going to have zero interest in doing videos because the only thing I'm going to be wanting to do is take up my second favorite hobby, which is watching the backside of my eyelids. But be on the lookout come towards the end of the year and a little bit after the new year when I will be posting some progress going on in the train room when there is a little bit more significant progress done. I'm almost to the point where I'm ready to show it to you guys, but not yet.
I still have a few more things I need to do to the point where I am satisfied so I can show it to you guys and it won't absolutely bug the hell out of me that I'm just showing you guys a bunch of nothing. So be on the lookout for the new blog video coming up soon. But until then, if I don't see you guys till after Christmas, everybody have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is Ravenhawk6910 signing off. <laughs>